Hi, kindergarten. Thank you for joining me today for our story. We are going to be listening to the story Piggy Pie. Piggy Pie is a book that has um, kind of some old folk tales and fairy tales within. So this book just puts a new spin on those stories. As I'm reading, I want you to be thinking about what, um, what those stories are within this book. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Here we go. Piggy Pie by Margie Palantini, illustrated by Howard Fine. Gritch the Witch woke up grouchy, grumpy, and very hungry. Her belly grumbled for something delicious, something delightful, something special. But what? It wasn't Purple Mouse Tail Stew. No, she ate that yesterday for lunch. Hmm, maybe some mashed dragon tongue pudding. No, Gritch wasn't in the mood for anything quite that sweet. Perhaps the taste of boiled black buzzard feet. That always made her mouth water. Hmm, no, not today. Today, Gritch wanted something truly tasty, something really yummy, something special. And that could only mean Piggy Pie! Yes, yes, Piggy Pie! I can taste those plump, juicy pink piggies right now, Gritch said, smacking her lips. She hurried to the pantry and pulled down her old hag cookbook from the top shelf. She picked off a spider blew off the dust, and turned to the secret recipe on page 342. Gritch ran her bony finger with the long green nail down the list of ingredients. One eye of a fly. No problem. Two shakes of a rattlesnake's rattle. No problem. Three belly hairs of a possum. No problem. Eight plump piggies. Problem! I don't have any piggies! How can I make piggy pie without even one puny pink pig? So Gritch pulled her hair and she stomped her feet. She paced the floor. She wanted piggy pie. She wanted piggy pie very much. Hmm, she said, tapping the lucky wart on her chin. Now where would I find eight plump pigs? Gritch thought and thought and thought. Ah, she shouted with a jump. The circus! Yes, yes, the circus. The circus? No, no, not the circus. You don't find pigs at the circus. She thought a little harder. Ah, she shouted with a jump. The zoo! Yes, yes, the zoo! The zoo? No, no, not the zoo. You don't find pigs at the zoo. She thought a little harder. <gasps> the farm! Yes, yes, the farm! You find pigs on the farm. There still was just one teeny little problem. Hmm, where to find a farm? Where else? Gritch let her bony fingers do the walking and opened the yellow pages to F, where she saw a very large ad. This was it. Old MacDonald's Farm, call E-I-E-I-O. Just over the river and through the woods, we have ducks, 
chickens, and piggies. Critch pulled out her broomstick in gear and headed over the river and through the woods to Old MacDonald's farm. I've got you in my sights now, you little porkers! She cackled as she circled overhead. In the air, she wrote, Surrender, piggies! Gritch zoomed in for a thump, thump, landing. She spit straw, fanned her still smoking tootsies, and lifted her goggles. There wasn't a pig in sight. Where'd they all go? Gritch shouted to a duck. Hey, duck, I said, where'd all the piggies go? I need eight plump piggies for piggy pie. The duck quacked here, he quacked there, here it quacked, there it quacked, everywhere it quacked, quacked. No piggies. What do you mean no piggies, you dizzy duck? Gritch screeched into his bill. I just saw a passel of piggies down here not a minute ago. Hand over those hogs, you little quacker. Quack! No piggies, quacked the duck. Gritch pulled her hair. She stomped her feet. She even threatened the duck with one of her most evil spells. The duck was not impressed. It wasn't even scared. It gave Gritch another quack, and it waddled away. Hmm, who needs a duck anyways, Gritch mumbled. Being careful where she stepped, Gritch wandered across the meadow. yoo she shouted. Murr! Hey, you! Gritch said to the cow. Where are all the piggies? I need eight plunk pibbies for piggy pie. The cow mooed here, and he mooed there. Here it mooed. There it mooed, everywhere it moo mooed. No piggies. What do you mean no piggies, you lumpy looking cow? Screamed Gritch. I need eight plump piggies for piggy pie. Fork over the pork, you walking milk machine, or I'll curdle your cream. No piggies, mooed the cow. Gritch pulled her hair. She stomped her feet. She even threatened the cow with one of her most evil spells. The cow stared at Gritch, swatted a fly with its tail, and lumbered away. Huh, cows, who needs them, Gritch muttered. So Gritch went over to the barnyard where she stopped a chicken in its tracks. Okay, bird brain, where are the piggies? I need eight plump piggies for piggy pie. The chicken cluck clucked here and it cluck clucked there. Here it clucked, there it clucked, everywhere it cluck clucked. No piggies. What do you mean, no piggies, you feathered drumstick? Gritch screeched. What's going on here? Where's the boss of this heap of hay? The chicken flapped her wing toward old MacDonald. Gritch looked him over once, twice. Hmm, you're old MacDonald, she said. Don't look much like your picture, do you? The farmer thumped his suspenders and he shrugged. Look, Shorty, I've been quack quacked here, moo mooed there, 
and cluck clucked everywhere all over this farm and I need eight plump piggies for piggy pie. Where are the piggies? The farmer looked here, he looked there, here he looked, there he looked, everywhere he looked, looked, no piggies. What do you mean no piggies, you flea-bitten seed spreader? You must have piggies. Gritch pulled her hair. She stomped her feet. She even threatened him with her one of her most evil spells. No piggies. Her stomach growled. It grumbled. But there were no piggies. There would be no piggy pie. Now what was she going to eat? Uh, excuse me, little lady. Wolf's the name. Let me give you some advice. Forget about the pigs. Forget about the pigs, said Gritch, eyeing the wolf. He nodded. They're too tricky. Trust me. I've been chasing three little pigs for days. He huffed and he puffed. I'm starving. Look at me. I'm nothing but skin and bones. Gritch pinched his arm. Well, not quite, she grinned. Hmm, Mr. Wolf, I have the most wonderful idea. I was thinking, since you haven't eaten, and I haven't eaten. Why don't you come home with me for lunch? I'm a very good cook. Why doesn't that sound tempting? The wolf said as he looked at Gritch and he smacked his lips. Are you sure it wouldn't be any problem? Problem? Gritch grinned. No problem at all, she said as they walked off arm in arm. I always enjoy having a wolf for lunch. All right, what do you guys think the end of the story is? The book stops here, but you kind of get to decide, did the wolf have Gritch for dinner or did Gritch have the wolf for dinner? So they really make us um, use our brains and kind of think and we kind of get to decide what happens at the end. What, what do you think happened? Um, I love this story so much. If you noticed in the story, um, there is a little bit of the old McDonald in here and then um, the wolf comes from the, the story of the three little pigs. So those were the kind of fairy tales and folk tales that were entwined in our story. And then as always, the witch too. So, all right, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, your next activity will be to retell the story, Piggy Pie. Have a great day, bye-bye.